the road to Calvary. It was a day of sorrow and pain for the people of Bruges. They had gathered to witness the procession of the Holy Blood, an annual civic celebration that commemorated the Passion of Christ. They had seen the reenactment of the episodes of his suffering and death, Christ carrying the cross aided by Simon of Siren, Veronica receiving the icon of the Holy Face, and the Virgin and Saint John waiting for Christ. But this year, the procession was different. It was not a mere spectacle, but a reality. For among the crowd, there was a man who looked like Christ. He had the same features, the same hair, the same beard. He wore a crown of thorns, and he carried a heavy cross on his back. He was bleeding from his wounds, and he was stumbling under the weight of his burden. He was followed by a group of soldiers, who mocked him and whipped him. They pushed him and kicked him, and they made him fall several times. They laughed at his agony, and they spat on his face. They were cruel and merciless, and they enjoyed his torment. He was also followed by a group of members of the Confraternity of the Holy Blood, who carried the official standard of the group. They wore red robes and white hoods, and they sang hymns and prayers. They were devout and faithful, and they honored his sacrifice. He was also followed by a group of people, who were moved by his plight. They wept and wailed, and they tried to help him. They offered him water and wine, and they wiped his sweat and blood. They were compassionate and kind, and they loved him. He was also followed by a group of angels, who were invisible to the human eye. They hovered above him and around him, and they protected him. They gave him strength and courage, and they comforted him. They were glorious and radiant, and they praised him. He was Christ, and he was bearing the cross. He was on the road to Calvary, where he was going to be crucified. He was going to die for the sins of the world, and he was going to rise again on the third day. He was the Son of God, and he was the Savior of the world. He was the hope and the light of the world.